This is West Horsley Place, one of the most lovely country houses in Surrey. The heart of the present house is a 15th century oak beam structure. In 1536 it was seized by Henry VIII and given to his cousin and chartered friend Henry Courtney. In return, Courtney had the king to stay for a magnificent lunch which included many dishes and many different birds. We had stewed sparrows, larded pheasants, duck, heron, quail, the lot. But it didn't pay off because just three years later, Henry VIII, well, who was persuaded that Courtney had been involved in a Catholic plot, ordered that he was beheaded. So not the most grateful dinner party guests then. But what's really interesting here is that the core of the original 15th century oak beamed house still survives. In 1640, the owner, probably embarrassed to have this dated house, opted for a cheap option. He commissioned this long red brick facade to be screwed to the original timber. So it's hanging from the original house rather than supporting it. And at some points it comes away from the house about five inches. But what you can see today is a style called artisan mannerism. It's similar to the Dutch house in London, which is the surviving part of Kew Palace. But today, West Horsley Place is a real hub of culture. It's the home of Grange Park Opera, which is 700 seat theatre in the grounds, hence this black tie dress. Uh, we're currently in the interval of Wagner's Tristan and Isolde, so quite intense, <laughs> but loving it so far. And it's also the film set for the BBC comedy drama Ghosts, where it was renamed as Button House. So if you're lucky, you might see Thomas serenading us in the grounds or perhaps Lady Button falling from a window. <laughs>